Today we are going to check out HyperX's new Solocast USB microphone. It costs around $60 in US or 5700 rupees in India and it is a pretty simple device but that can actually be a good thing because microphones can be complicated to set up but here we have a very basic plug and play device that you can just put on your desk and start streaming or use it for any other purpose. So all that is left is to check out how good it sounds and talk about what is missing. Hey guys, I am Siddharth and let's get started. So the design of this microphone is quite basic but it looks great. It comes with a very cute stand that you can remove it from very easily. You can adjust the microphone to be at different angles by using the knob on its side and you can also adjust the microphone to be sideways on this stand with very satisfying clicks. At its back you have a USB type C port to plug it into your PC and at bottom we also have 3 8 and 5 8 inch screw threads to easily mount this on a microphone stand. On front, we have an LED that will tell you about its power status and whether it is on mute because you can mute this mic very easily with a single touch on the big capacitive button we have on its top and when it is on mute, the status LED starts blinking. Right now, the mic is unmuted and I am speaking in it. Now the mic is unmuted again and you can hear what I am speaking in it. The construction and build of this microphone is really solid. It is made completely of metal so it has some heft in it in spite of its small size. The metal grille feels strong and its muted design really makes it look quite professional. So even for non-gaming setups, this is going to look very good. We don't have any controls for microphone gain or a port for monitoring on this device but we'll talk more about that later in the video. So you can of course just place it on your desk and start using it. It comes with a 2 meter USB cable which should be good enough for most use cases. And now I am using it on this cheap microphone stand which you can get on Amazon which I will link to in the video description. It is certified by Discord and TeamSpeak but it is a USB mic so you can also use this microphone with your tablets and maybe even your phones and this is what it sounds like when being directly recorded into an iPad. Now we are recording in Adobe Audition on a PC and this is what it sounds like. I am not processing the sound so this is the raw input. I think it feels quite natural and I really don't have a lot to say about it other than how good this sounds and you must also be able to hear that. Now because this mic doesn't have any gain control on it, you won't be able to control the levels directly on this so you will have to set the gain in your OS or in the software that you are using. It's not a big issue as you probably won't need to do that often. This is a cardioid pickup pattern mic only which means that it is going to pick up voice from its front and reject it from its side. You can't change the polar pattern but a cardioid pickup pattern is what you will probably use most of the time. So now we'll test how much sound it picks up from its side. Now we are back at its front and then again we are going to the other side and now I am speaking on its back side and this is what it sounds like. We are again on its side and now we are finally back to its front and you can hear what this sounds like. This is a condenser mic and not a dynamic mic so it is going to pick up any noise that you may have in your room and it is also going to pick up the reverb of your voice if you don't have an acoustically treated room. But that is how condenser mics work so just keep this in mind. This is what the microphone sounds from the typical distance that you would place this at. Now we are 1 feet away from this mic and this is what this sounds like. And now the mic is 2 feet away and this is what it sounds like. Now we are trying to do a radio broadcast kind of voice and if you place it very close to your mouth, you achieve this kind of sound because of the proximity effect and it sounds very smooth and bassy which is what gives it that broadcast sound character. Now we are going to test what a guitar sounds like on this mic so if you ever plan to record instruments on it, you can see how it performs.
Also make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Now we are going to test how well this mic handles the plosives and in Indian accent we don't have the same way of speaking the sentence that I am going to speak so it may sound a little weird. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now we are going to add a pop filter and we'll see how it sounds like. You can also pick up this pop filter from Amazon for quite cheap. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? If you put this mic very close to your mouth, it doesn't reject the plosives very well like we saw. But that is also the case with other condenser mics that don't have special filters built in. So if this bothers you, you can just get a pop filter like this. Now the microphone is on my desk and I am typing on my Logitech G813 low profile keyboard with linear switches and you can hear how much noise it is picking up. It is a condenser mic so I am assuming that it must be picking up a lot of it. From this point I am adding some effects to it. So I am compressing the sound and also adding some noise reduction. So you can see what it can sound like if you use it to record something like a YouTube video or podcast. So my overall thoughts on this mic is that it is a pretty great mic that is built very well and is very easy to use. It looks pretty great, the stand is pretty functional, the mute button is great to have and most importantly it sounds quite good and natural even for guitar. A higher end microphone may also require you to have an audio interface which also costs more than this mic. So the simple USB plug and play functionality is nice to have on a microphone like this. The only compromise are that you'll have to control the gain in software which isn't a big deal and their more expensive mics like the Quadcast do have this feature. A lack of a headphone jack for monitoring is also not a big deal as I don't think that many gamers would use this feature. This really is all the mic that you may need to use unless you are recording professionally. So it is pretty cool to have something in this price range that works and performs so well. So I'll have links to buy all of this in the video description. Let me know what you thought about this mic in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you disliked it. Subscribe with bell. Thanks for watching. Follow me on socials and I'll see you in the next one.